and we are going to take a quick look at the Flywheel Easy Power E24 and the Flywheel Easy Power E16. And I know that we touched on these in our review, but I just wanted to give a little bit more of a detailed breakdown of them. Not that they actually need a detailed breakdown because they are like they're called Easy Power for a very good reason. They are ridiculously easy to use. So there's two versions. The Easy Power 24 is the 4S, sorry, it's a 2S and it supports four cells hence e24 to four and then the e16 supports one s's up to six so that's one six so 16 clever names like it we'll have a look at the 2s version first of all and these are so easy to use that i did think it was a really good point to bring them out now flywheel do provide you or can provide you with one of these chargers the only problem with these in england being a brit uh, we use a completely separate system to the majority of the world so we need an adapter now my only adapter is plugged into this pc and if i unplug that it means the microphone won't get power so so i'm just going to use a, a 65 watt power bank for now just so that i can show you how to do it now you've got your connectors on the side and all you need with a 2s because obviously you've got your either xt whatever uh, and then you've got your balance cable. All you need to do is plug in the balance cable. So all you need to do first of all then is just to plug in a USB to here, ideally from that flyer charger or any other sort of 65 watt charger that you may have hanging around. Now this does come, I'm leaning on the, uh, the port of my power bank. So it comes in two flavors and it's really, really easy to use. I know that generally speaking, I'll use the V-Fly chargers because I really do like them. But newbies generally are, are a bit concerned about whether or not it's safe to charge. Do I set the charge current to this or do I set it to that? What if I blow my house up? So this takes all that away from you. So this will charge your batteries up to 4.35 automatically or when the red light is on or 3.85 which is storage voltage when the blue light is on and that is literally all you need to do so i'll hold this button down and that tells me when i plug a battery in now it's going to go to 4.35 all you need to do is get the balance plug of your uh, 2s you don't need the the xt6 xt30 or whatever cable you literally just plug it in the light goes red and then when it's finished, it'll turn back green. And that's it. There's nothing to press to start the charger. You don't need to stop the charger. It is literally as simple as that. They couldn't have made it any easier. And that's probably why they call it the easy power. So again, just remember the E24 is for 2S times 4, 2, 4. And that's it. That's as simple as that. Now I'll show you the other one. Um, but there isn't really any difference between them except for the cells that they will accept. So again, you just plug in your, your cable in the end in the same way. Hold that button down. I'll just give it a second to power up. Hold that button down to go to storage voltage. And then you just pop in your cable and it begins charging. Now, I think that's telling me that's already at storage voltage. In fact, no, sorry, it goes to green when it's charged. So you know which voltage that you're on and you know which one that you're running to. And it even tells you on here, to be fair. Now you've got obviously the, um, the, the pH connectors. You've also got other connectors here for the older style batteries. I'm just trying to see if I, I should have one on this desk somewhere. I probably don't after all that. So. Right, let's not worry about that just yet. But yeah, the point being is if you've got something plugged into number one at the top, don't also plug something into number one at the side. Or if you've got something plugged into number one at the side, don't also plug it into number one at the top as well because that will damage the charger. It can only charge six batteries even though there are 12 ports in total. Just bear that in mind. But again, it literally is as simple as set whatever uh, current voltage you want it set to and then plug it in. Now, I would never advocate walking away from a charger, but this will stop charging when it's done and start charging when it needs to. Always charge in the same room. However, this does take out all that stress that a lot of newbies have of, oh, if I'm going to do this, is this going to be a problem or is that going to be a problem? And I get it. I completely get the stress and the anxiety. It was something that actually stopped me flying for quite a while when I initially came into the hobby because I was just petrified of something really bad happening when I was charging. Now, thankfully, it never did. So 
that is it is what it is but i got that along with the firefly we've now shown you a review of it we've shown you how to set it up and if you look into here now on the playlist you can also see how to put an elrs receiver into this little bird as well absolute fantastic little thing we've got a whole playlist for you to enjoy uh, on these new flywoo technologies but if you've got any questions whatsoever please do drop them in the comments down below and until next time peace out